What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. As you may have known, I have been digging a little bit into the world-renowned mobile RPG Raid Shadow Legends. In my last video, we did a few pulls and I got extremely, extremely lucky and I ended up snatching two extra legendary champions. And now in this video, I wanna show them off in some events, some dungeons, and maybe some PvP as well. Also, I will share with you how to get two free legendary champions, so make sure to pay attention. The first thing that you're going to want to do is scan the QR code you see on the screen right now or hit the link in the description is my custom link. Just make sure to click that or scan the QR code. I will leave the QR code somewhere around in the corners. So at any point in the video, you can pause it and scan it and then download the game directly from there. Break Shadow Legends actually does a lot of events throughout the year, but the event that it's currently on is called the Asgard Divide. And it launched with some of the best Norse mythology characters like Odin, Freya, Thor, and Loki. Currently in the game, you can acquire Thor, Odin, and Freya through in-game events but luckily for me because loki is my favorite there is an in-game event right now where you can get loki 100 free all you have to do is log in for seven days so as soon as you download the game and you log in for the first time you are already going to be one day ahead and then at the seventh day you're going to be able to receive your free legendary hero loki the deceiver which looks insane He's actually one of my favorite characters in the game. And let me tell you, Loki is very, very strong. He specializes in stealing people's buffs or enemies' buffs, and then he gives them to your party. Also blocks the enemies from getting buffed again. He is very, very good. And also he's a healer, so he also heals as well. So that's why he's pretty much a staple in my teams. I don't take him out for pretty much anything. So if you act quickly and you download the game right now, you can actually get a head start on getting your free legendary Loki. This event will probably go away and not come back after the event is over. You have until October 23rd to actually make this happen. So that is one of the legendary heroes that you can get for free. For the second one, which I told you I was going to give you too. The second one is very easy. You can get him pretty much instantly as soon as you boot up the game. But you have to follow these instructions. So what you want to do is go ahead and click my custom link. Click the custom link in the description. Download the game directly from there. And then once you log in, you're going to go to the side tab right here on the left hand side. Click on where it says promo code and enter the promo code Monkey King. Uh, all caps, no spaces, and this will unlock for you the legendary champion Sun Wukong, and he is my main damage dealer in my account currently. I've been using him pretty much non-stop ever since I got him. He's a very, very strong character. He also steals buffs from enemies. He also lowers defenses for the enemies. He hits very hard, and if he dies, he has a, he has a skill that allows him to revive. So he's just an absolute monster to have in your account. But the catch is that you have to do this quickly because you only have 72 hours to enter the promo code once you start your account. So just to avoid all that, just as soon as you download the game via my custom link, just enter the promo code as soon as you log in and then you won't have to worry about the 72 hours. And then by that, you already have Sun Wukong, you already have Loki. So that's already two legendary champions that are pretty much going to carry you through the entire game. Uh, also, they can carry you through like the first early stages of PvP, which is what I did as well. So it's a really, really nice head start. Something I have to touch on before we move on is that Halloween is pretty much around the corner and Raid Shadow Legends has some really, really good and really clean looking Halloween designs for their champions. My personal favorite champion in the entire game is Harvest Jack, which is one of their Halloween units because he just looks so sick. Just just look at that. The pumpkin face, the scythe, the colors. It just, it just looks so, so good. I really can't wait until he comes back so I can possibly snatch up a copy of him. So you can check all the Halloween designs also in game when you download the game. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is they have an Odin summoning pool. We got 40 of these uh, crystals. What are they called? I don't know what they're called. They're called Prism Crystals. So we got 40 of these Prism Crystals, which we need 40 to do a summon. I really, really want Odin. So let's see if we can pull him. Let's see, let's just do the summon real quick. Let's just do one of them. Wait, is it just one character? Okay, this is one character. Okay, we didn't get it. We didn't get it, but that's fine. I wasn't really expecting much about it. So, all right. So now the first thing we're going to do is the dungeon. So we're going to do this event dungeon. This is the Odin dungeon. And uh, this is very hard. So so this is the team that I'm running on. I have my Sun Wukong here in the lead spot. I have my Loki. And then these are the two legendary characters we got on our last video that we summoned. And I already got this one. I got really lucky in the beginning. And I got this one as well. So this Odin fight is really annoying because Odin revives these two and then these two heal up Odin and they make it to where you can't really hit him. So it's, it's, it's very, very annoying. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. All right. So right now I don't want them to uh, pretty much kill me. I don't want to buff myself. So I'm going to give him the uh, buff block so that he so he can't get buffed. So right here, let me see. Attacks all enemies, steals buff from the enemies. So I'm not going to I'm going to save that and I'm just going to do this. Boom. 
Hit him with the defense down. See? Odin couldn't get couldn't get buffed, so that was good. Oh, Wukong got slapped. Uh, they don't have any buffs, so we can go ahead and buff up, right? Yeah, let's buff up. We'll buff up again. And that way we can start counterattacking. Cool. And then now, let's do this. See, they got the little buff. So now, what we're going to do is try to steal them, right? Let's try to steal the buffs. Yep, we were able to steal a few, but not the one that I wanted to steal. So let's go ahead and just keep attacking, I guess. Because we can't hit them at this moment. They have that little strengthening buff. This guy has a chance of stealing buffs, but he's not doing it. He's just, he's always missing. I still, okay, I can hit two of them. So let's go ahead and do that. We killed one. That's perfect. Um, Let's hit Odin again. We got to get rid of this one because he heals. So I think Loki's going to be able to do it. Cool. He has the buff, so might as well not attack him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do that. This is fine. He's going to probably end up reviving someone. Uh, Steals all buffs from enemies. Okay, so let's just do that. Boom. That's a good hit. We're almost done. He has the buff. So now if we get a turn with Wukong. We can try to steal the buff. Wukong, let me get a turn, please. Wukong. Wukong. Okay, he lost, the, he lost the buff. That's fine. So now we get him with the defense down, and he's over. Done. And we got uh, speed. I always look for speed, because speed is good. So we'll, we're going to keep that one. Uh, all right. So that was the Odin event. All right. Now, let's go ahead and try out some arena. We're going to try and find somebody. Oh, look at this one. This is six stars. What the hell is this? Let's see. Maybe we can buy. Maybe we can fight him. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, Sure. And I'm going to leave it on auto because I like watching the PvP on auto. So let's see. Let's see how our team does. We should we should trash them, obviously. Honestly, we should just trash them. See, that looks sick. They can't buff themselves. Ooh, they're hit. They hit hard. All right, cool. Easy. All right, let's try it again. Let's do it again. Uh, let's look for... This, is, this one has a Loki team on. But well, come on, we got five legendary. We have four legendary champions on my team. There's no way we lose, right? Look at that. Sun Wukong is so strong. Sun Wukong is just strong. Oh, buff block. You can't do nothing. And then you die. And then their Loki's alive because he has a lot of health, but no match. Let's see if we can find some like more people. Uh, level 39 Loki. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can take this one out. We should. I mean, all our characters are level 40 plus. We are buffing, we are blocking their buffs, we are stealing their buffs, reducing their defense, our team is buffed up to the max. Look at all these buffs we got going on over here. Turn him into a sheep, and then he's going to come back with half health. So that's a really good way of dealing with Loki with a bunch of health. You just turn him into a sheep, a sheep with Wukong, and then he, pretty much half of his HP gets gone after that. So it makes it a lot easier to... Uh, do that so let me find another team can we refresh yes we can can we get uh level 50 loki this, this one's gonna be a little tighter let's see what we do here maybe they have better gear than me boom okay we almost got one of them out why did you block oh no this is the problem with auto like it, they target the one that's almost dying so they can finish it and now he's healed Turn him into a sheep. Maybe we... Maybe we auto this one. Or maybe we manual this one, right? Or no. He stole all the buffs. Oh my god, Loki's so good. Loki's so strong. But I think we still got it. I think we still got it. We we have Wukong. We have Wukong. We have Loki. So there you have it. Lately, I've just been focusing on improving and leveling up my characters. Uh, getting more gear and better gear for those characters so that can take on harder challenges. I am a very grindy person, so I like games that you have to grind gear and grind stuff for because you get to see the fruits of your labor and then you pretty much trash levels that you couldn't beat before. And then it just it just gives me a really good hit of dopamine and also allows me to think because some stages make me change up my strategy, which is something I enjoy. Raid Shadow Legends is a perfect side game for me because I personally don't have a lot of free time in my hands. 
And the fact that I can just put it on auto and let it grind for like whatever amount of time I wanted to grind. And then I'll still get the same result as if I was playing it manually. It's something that mm, I think every game should have something like that. And it's something that fits very perfectly with me. Also the summon squad clan, which is my personal clan. Uh, we already have a few members in there. Actually, not a few. We have a bunch of members in there. We already cleared the first stage of the clan raid boss. So make sure that once you download the game, join my clan. Just look up summon squad, join that clan and play with me. All right, guys, remember to scan the QR code up in the corner or click the custom link in the description to download Raid Shadow Legends. Remember, you get Loki 100% for free just by logging in and then Sun Wukong by entering the promo code Monkey King in the first 72 hours. That is all I have for you today. Thank you, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, see ya.